We're here at Lake of the Ozarks, and we just got finished catching some gar. We're going to show you how to clean them. This is the finished product, what we're looking for right here on the plate. You can see it. It's some pretty nice looking fillets. So we're going to uh, we're going to tear into this bad boy. First thing that we want to do is get it mounted so that it doesn't go anywhere. And we're going to clean this fish a little bit differently. We're going to clean it from the top instead of from the side. And we're going to get it locked into the table so it doesn't go anywhere. And then we've got to try to get their, their um, skin is like armor and it is very very tough and so what we're going to try to do is get ourselves a little little hole punch there there we go so we can get our scissors in there and i've got a pretty tough pair of scissors and we want to you can hear it crunching as it cuts kind of graphic if you're not used to that kind of stuff and we're going to cut it down around. We're going to cut just a line right there, perpendicular to the axis of the body. There we go. And we're just we're just cutting it so that the skin can peel back later, and I'll show you why. But we want to get it. There we go. Cut down. And the next cut is right down the middle of the back. And we're just going to work our way down and you got to kind of push it in and take it an inch at a time. Just move right down the back. You can hear that, yeah, that thing crunching. That stuff is just like armor plate. You want to be careful with your fingers. You notice I got one glove on. That's the glove that I'll, I'll handle around the, around the skin itself because it will cut you. It is sharp. Get down all the way down the length of the fish. And, you know, it's uh, an interesting fish. It's a prehistoric fish. I, we didn't show you what the front of it looks like if you've never seen one before. We'll do it here towards the end of the video and give you an idea what the front of it looks like. But it's, it's an interesting looking fish. And we cut back about to this this fin. We don't really need to go much further than that. There's not much meat back there. There's a little bit, but we'll cut right about to there and we'll stop. That's fine. And I'm going to wash off my hand a little bit. Wash off the fish a little bit. Now comes the finesse work. And we want to, what you want to do is you want to kind of pull back the skin and take your knife and you just want to slice down in along the skin, between the meat and the skin. And you want to separate the membrane that's there. And just a little bit of time, you just want to work it. And as you work it, the skin will peel back really nice. There, it's already starting on this side. And once again, be careful. Do this with a glove on because this skin will cut you. It is tough as armor. And you want to make sure, the reason why we're doing this is, is that you really don't want to cut down into the entrails of the fish. Because it doesn't, uh, it's not very appetizing. And all your good meat's on top anyway. So we're going to come in from the top and we're going to get access to the meat. And guess what? We never have to deal with the entrails. Which is a good thing. And if you're skittish about cleaning fish, it's a really good thing. And we're just about to the, towards the back of the fish here. And I'll show you what this looks like when we get it all the way worked down. Oh, we're real close here on this side. Real close. And we got it hung up up here a little bit. I may go ahead and clip this just a little bit more up here because it's not going down as far as I really want it to. There we go. There. See how it lays down nice? There we go. 
There, that's what you want. You want it to, with the fish laying there, the skin laying down to the side nice and easy. And you'll notice we haven't cut into the to the gut section, so we're we're in really good shape there. Now we'll work the other side. And once again, you just want to want to keep the fish straight up. And you just want to work it. You want to be able to get your finger your finger in there and just work along between the skin. And we're going to do the same thing on this other side, and we'll come back. Okay, we've got the uh, both sides peeled back back with you now and we're going to show you how to take the fillets off of this gar. Very simple to do. We're going to start up here at the top and you can see the ridge line running right down the top of the fish there. We're going to cut just to the side of that ridge line and we're not going to cut real deep. We're going to, you got to kind of feel with your knife as to when you get down against the rib cage because the rib cage is down in there and spreads out and covers the entrails and so you want to cut down to the rib cage and then you just want to slide off the edge of the rib cage. You don't want to, you don't want to cut through the rib cage. You don't want to cut too hard. You don't want to worry about getting every single little scrap off. You just want to make sure that you stay on top of that rib cage. And you want to cut it down here on the side. And you'll see here as I, you'll see it loosen up here. Yeah, I can feel. You can feel as you, as you go to cut along that rib cage. When it stops cutting, you're cutting into bone, so you want to back off just a little bit in just a light slicing motion. See, and you can see the rib cage right there, down in there. See, and you can see I'm just right along it. And then as you get towards the back, and they do have a long rib cage, so it does extend back quite a bit. So don't be surprised that if you if you're encountering that way way back here, you can see I'm back about eight inches from the head, and it comes back that far. So don't don't worry about that. That's just that's just the way it is. And you just want to slide down, right, and it just just comes off there so nice. You can see it just almost peels off, and it just lays right out of there. And look at that. You have a nice hunk of meat, all boneless, all ready to go. We're gonna get the other side. You can see there's the entrails right there. See that right there? There it is. It's all in there. It's all protected. Didn't have to. Didn't have to deal with it. By the way, I'm getting absolutely no smell off this fish. I mean, this fish is is practically odorless, which uh, which is which is a good thing. Most of all, the smell comes from opening a fish up and having to deal with all that. And here with this method, you just don't have to deal with that at all. And once again, we're just going to slide right down, and it's kind of easier because I'm left-handed of doing it on this side. And there we go. And we just slip right down. Look at that. Look at that. Just slides out of there just so nicely. And we're going to come down here. And we're, we want to get the fish kind of stood up straight there so that when you're slicing down, you're slicing down fairly straight. And come right to that rib cage and then give that knife just a little bit of a bend outward so that it glides right along the edge of it. By golly, you'll have that trimmed out. Look at that. Just beautiful. Just perfect the way it comes out of there. Man. And we're going to take these fillets and we're going to uh, soak them in a little, little salt water. And then tomorrow night we're going to chunk them up and put them in a little crab and shrimp boil and boil them up for about five minutes, let them sit for about five minutes and then dip them in some butter and we'll have some of the best eaten in the Ozarks.